Hello, ladies, gents, and ambitious architects. We return to RimWorld. Here is the setup. It's eight rooms. I honestly don't know if that's enough. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. That's five right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not enough for, for all the people, but there's going to be some freed up room over here so I can create two more living spaces right there. So everybody should end up with their own little room. Some of them are slightly cramped. Right there's a, you know, probably a Tom Betts room. Because he deserves nothing better. And he, the disturbing psychopath of the calling, he, you know, need, needs to be, continued to be pushed down into the dregs of society so that way he doesn't get too uppity and uh, takes over the place. It's very important. But Nielsen and Rafael Kolkowski still are pretty damn upset about Jordan Singer dying. I understand. I understand. It's, it's only... It's only temporary. Actually, Rafael doesn't give a damn. No, this has been Nielsen. Doesn't give a damn. Collins died. So how come Rafael, he already considered Jordan Singer a friend? Maybe Jordan Singer is the guy that recruited him or something? Because Rafael is... Uh, I forget where exactly we recruited him. I'm pretty sure that he was our prisoner. Did we engineer fully healed? All right. Okay, this time, time goes forward. Barry will get around to all the things. We do need some more stone. Uh, so Ted Wina should be able to get that done. Where are you up to right now? Permitting barrel. Then we have, let's see. What is our craft? Ted Wina, but he's also a hauler. I don't want to take off too many haulers. Coltona should do it. But she's also the cook, so she's making wort. Cracklack Vagvis should do it. But he's also hunting. Handling all kinds of monsters. I think Cracklack Vagvis is the guy. Training Gargantos too, but we do have a lot of animals. A lot of animals that require training. So is there anybody that's going to get some stone done? Maybe I'll just prioritize him. Once he's done training. There you go. You can prioritize that. Because we do need some marble to get this construction done. Oh! Caravan request. Okay, I'm like, oh, a little bit of lag is going to be bad. A silver, a legendary silver bed for 10 flak pans. Legendary silver bed. They told in the legends of the uh, ultra silver bed of the ancients. Amazing godlike creatures would sleep on this bed. Where the hell are we? Is this us? Cannibal's tributary. You would think that will be us, but it's not. Where are we? Down here. Okay. It's not that hard. It's not that far. 14 days. <sighs> flag pants are, are rough to craft. Let's see how much we need for flag pants. Uh, probably it's already there, yeah. Details. You need 60 steel free, 30 cloth. So that's a 600 steel investment. And 10 component investment. Nah, not gonna happen. It's not worth it. It's not worth having uh, to, to have an amazing bed. Are you freaking kidding me? I would much rather have the 10 flak pants that we are unable to craft right now. Crack of Vagby, I don't really want you to do this until you collapse, though. I just want you to, to get some stones done. I wish you would do marble. Yeah, there you go. Okay, do uh, two more. And we'll let you go. When you prioritize them to do something, they'll just do it until they collapse in a heap of, uh, of pain. So, he's going to do your food. And off he goes, training muffalos. We don't really have a good crafter right now because we have so much concentration on hauling. Probably Luxter should stop with the hauling. And whenever she's not building or wardening, she should be the one to craft here. At least we have quite a few people taking care of it. I think Ted Wina. She can go back to... Crafting a lot. She's hauling milk. I don't think that job is all that important. So we can just let go of it. Oh yeah, look at all this. Delicious beer gonna happen. Is Joan Chandler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we're so close. We're so close uh, to that. Survival package meat. Wow, we need more. Oh, that's limestone. I was like... Why they're not using this? Because that's not the thing that I need. Why is Andrea carrying wart over here? Because this is full. No, it's not. What the? 
What the? Wart. Important. Normal. What? <laughs> Is Andrea the the dog with a stroke? Is that what happened? I don't know, man, but uh, it feels slightly upsetting. Why are you repairing, Tedwina? I'm a little confused here. I thought repairing is a construction job. She is a builder. Yeah, she is a builder. Tedwina? You know what? I don't really need you to construct stuff. Let's put that on a three. So that way she'll... Uh, she'll get. Yeah, there you go. Cutting some stone. That's what I want. All right, let's just think power to this smelter. It's already uh, powered up. You just need to have people do it. Plenty of power over there. Plenty of power over here. I wonder why there's... Why is there two of these? Two power switches over there. I built that at some point. Like a moran. Why am I still upset? Come on, just get over. It's just a husband. You can get... Uh, crack like that is just there begging you to take him in. And here you are heartbroken because your husband just dropped dead. Come on. It's not that big a deal. Baima. Would you like to... to would you like to uh, consume some ambrosia and maybe uh, eat the pain away? That's something. <laughs> that will get you through the day, maybe. Alright, all these marbles being constructed. Fantastic stuff. Ostrich self-tamed. Oh, what an amazing, amazing, beautiful, random event. Coming to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> I don't know exactly what, where that's set up to be done. Hey, this is all deconstructed. All the doors have been built. It's neat now. Okay, this is no longer needed. We can mine this one out. Get this outside. I just farted. Let's see. We can pass some time. I think we can just start moving. And the thing is, it's disgusting. These rooms are absolutely gross. So let's start lighting it up. Putting a little bit of pep into these rooms. There. In the corner. Over there. The power consumption of these lamps is really negligible. Don't really matter. And we will run a conduit like so. And like that. Create a little bit of redundancy there. Make that loop and then it goes like so. Will that plug that one as well? Yeah, it will. It's all good. Alright, that's all built. Nice. We'll also give... How much wood do we have? 159. I think it's time to chop wood. I don't know if there's any to be chopped. It's a little bit there. Cacti and drago trees, they don't uh, work. They don't grow very fortuitously. That's why I went ahead and planted those dragos. Because boy, is wood a very, very, very scarce commodity. Thing is, just don't make them out of wood, you fool. Just make them out of stone. And table. Sandstone. We'll give everybody an end table. Let's see. Uh, bed. End table. End table. Uh, the bed will be in that corner. No, in this corner. End table. The bed will be down here with a lamp. Now we'll be there. Make an end table. I like to put them in the cubby hole, but that would be stupid. Let's put an end table there. Another one there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fills me with joy. Finally, everybody has got something to call home. We'll just move them. I think the end tables are worthless uh, now that I think about it. Because if you're not making beds, the sleeping bags don't matter as end tables. Damn it. Good enough for me. We'll also make a little, little door here. We're at least everybody. And be less disturbed by people walking in. It's probably going to turn into two rooms. So do I want this wall here? Let me just make a long thing. But then uh, the, the batteries back here are kind of in the way, aren't they? Maybe I should just put the batteries elsewhere. 
Not a whole lot of places to get that done, though. You can place them anywhere, though. Doesn't really matter. Don't want them outside, however. You want them inside. I wish you could... I guess we could store them right in the middle here. Meh. Don't want them blowing up over there. Hey, we got light. Everybody now no longer working in the dark. Maybe we'll just dig out a cubby hole here. How about that? Let's get this mined out. Get that extra room. Why do I even have that there? Why have that thick ass wall when I could just have more space? Makes no sense. All right, that sand, those sandstone uh, end tables are getting done. The thing is, crack like that, Why are you not? Because you're sleeping. I was like, why are you not making more stone? I need more stone for my endeavors, for my projects. I'm building this base, playing The Sims, and nothing bad will happen to this colony. Psychic Sooth. There you go, Randy, saying, you're right, you're right, I love you. I am going to bless you with prosperity forever. Bamboozle. Getting that cloth off. Hey, there's some more potatoes. They'll all be... You know, struck Jade! What an incredible, incredible, amazing event. Starting to run out of food here. Packets of our meal! Ooh, baby! Time for... Time for that psychic refining. Mm-hmm. Drug production. Package of vital meal. Time to build an empire. Cook package survival meal. Do it. Not forever. How many do we want for our road? Until we have a hundred. How long is this trip going to be? Do forever. Yeah, do forever. Nah, no for until until you have one hundred. There you are. And then details, of course. The radius only to the pantry. Any work, that's fine. Just drop on the... Actually, just... Yeah, just drop on the floor. Uh, that's fine. And allowing everything. This is all fine. No instant jelly. Looking fine to me. And it takes ten of each, right? I'm going to skill 8. Where does this show that? It should show it somewhere. Much of the ingredients are wasted in the preservation process, but it's a full meal. The pemmican is just annoying. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like pretty garbage. There you go. That's, that's it. We're going to copy that and paste it. Nice. Now, when everything else is suspended, We'll make that. Pemi can no longer be done. And we can re-do this to important. Important. And those packages of our meals shall be cooked. For our road. Oh yeah, there she goes. Oh, it's only six of each. I thought it was ten of each. Six of each, that's not wasteful at all. Yeah, there you go. Drop it on the floor. One of the ingredients is just being wasted. That's it. There's that wiener. And in those rocks. Chop down. Oh, look at the beautiful, wonderful area. Reject the proposal. Oh, I told you, Blargo. I told you, Blargo. She gonna break your heart. Blargo told Luxter that he wants to spend his life with her. Luxter rejected the proposal. Uncle Blargo Blarg is going to be unhappy about this. Oh, poor Blargo. It's okay. It's okay. Just eat some more human meat. Eat some more human meat and you'll be okay. So does this mean, do they stop being an item? No, they're still lovers. But Luxter did not take that nicely. She's like that girl in the video meme that just instantly runs away when he pops down the knee. Yep, there goes Luxter. <laughs> does not feel good about Blargo anymore. Well, it was good while it lasted. This bet is soon going to be split. And goes back to Luxter because she is the pamper princess of the colony. She needs to be constantly babysat. Because she is the, a very valuable member, okay? Alright, well, 
you know what? Let's uh, smooth these surfaces. All this. Let's smooth it all. Why not? We spent so long in these areas. Might as well make them pretty. Everything gets smoothed out. Smooth out. Major break risk. Bima. She's still just heartbroken. Poor Bima. Poor Bima. Call this pemmican. Uh, our food is quickly diminishing. I mean, there's still plenty. Man, 61, these cooks are just badass cooks. Getting all these amazing materials all cooked up. Ready to go. Inspiring surgery of Joan Chandler. I don't think she's a doctor at all. Oh, yeah, she is a doctor. Okay, well, never mind then. Um, I'm kind of sad because getting all this done means we're going to be able to leave soon. And I'm very happy with this base. <laughs> I'm really, really pleased with the shape of it, with our survival in it. It's looking real good. I think it's time. It's time to start moving people. Uh, we have 213 wood. That's not enough to make uh, beds for everybody. We can make... Uh, let's move T-Rose into our bed, best bedroom. She deserves it. She's like... I often meme about these things, but T-Rose is literally the backbone of the colony alongside of myself. <clears throat> myself. Put her right there in that nice room. I, this is a little bigger. We'll put her there. Um, and this floor shall be smoothed pretty soon. Floors. We'll give her some marble. Marble floor right there. Um, backbone of this colony. She's just cooking her heart away. Always constantly doing work in the background. Save our asses with a few... A few maverick shots. Fantastic lady. She's gonna go senile soon. <laughs> What's, how long does she have until she gets the dementia stuff popping up? Pretty soon. She's also underground. She's, she's never unhappy. <laughs> she's never unhappy about being cooped up in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Well, excellent, well suited character for this type of work. Is this suspended already? Do we already have a hundred? Almost. Man, that's nuts. Makes me feel like, is this enough food? It's like 10 days of food. Let's see. It's two meals a day, right? Or is it three meals a day? Maybe we should have 200 of them. Let's up it to at least 150. 150. 150. We have plenty to go around. Uh, and now it's okay to make some cyclite leaves. Be my beautiful field of dandelions, though. So beautiful. Psychoid plant. All this corn isn't going to go to waste. It's being it's, it's being hauled. It's all good. Here comes Tobias Pete. He's just going for a walk, having a fa fun old time. The simple meals eventually get depleted. Should I be concerned about our vegetable uh, load? Nah, we're, we're still good. 1500. Really need some more stone though. Actually, no. All this stone was built already, so now it's all a matter of smoothing everything out. Luxter is getting some floors down. Fantastic stuff. Man, it's so uneventful, it's weird. It's just weird. The other shoe's gonna drop. It's all gonna be awful. What are these being built? Flag pants, flag vest. We also have these EMP grenades. Wonder why they... Uh, we got Coltona that should be working on it. Coltona, why are you not? You're a cook. Because you're one of the few cooks. There's me, T Rose, and Coltona. That's it. There's all the people that can cook anything even half decent. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate indeed. Because that means that the ZMP grenades are never going to be built, and there's another mechanoid raid, and I'm going to get wrecked. So maybe I should make sure. For now, T Rose will take over the kitchen. Coltona takes a three on cooking. And that way, she can get those EMP grenades built. All right, those stones are finally getting all nicely done. Uh, is this? I don't think this consumes power until it's actually being used. So uh, it's fine to just leave it activated. Okay. Ah, what a wonderful place. I am wondering, what horrendous, horrendous nightmare 
will bring it down. Probably when uh, nuclear winter or whatever it's actually called. What's it called? Toxic fallout comes over and ruins my day. Yeah, I think I think we're good with corn. I think we're fine as far as that's concerned. Look at all these packaged survival meals. Oh, it makes me feel so good. It's so nice to be plenty plentiful in Rimworld. But are getting around to all those repairs. I guess that floors come after repairs, huh? Because all this moving ain't gonna be done itself. All by itself, Blargo. What are you even up to? Are you going to... Yeah, removing that floor. There's a bunch of steel, that's why human meat has rotted. That's weird. Why? This is not uh, three degrees. I think it's just too many people walking in and out. Why is it not frozen? Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Is it just not enough refrigeration? Do we need another one? Spark through the bamboozle. It's just everything's great. Animal starvation? Why is this thing that smart? <laughs> Get rid of it! Now it's going to be all thin and gross. The meat is going to be all stringy. 20. Probably we are doing simple meals again. 1.3 days. Ooh! 0.8 hours? That sucks. That's 50 meat. That's not right. Too bad. Everybody's out. What a waste. Oh, there goes T-Rose. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. I guess I can just simply disallow. Ah, it's, uh, it's spoiled. Well, that was a waste. It sucks. Because it's just uh, spending too long sitting on the shelf. That was freaking... Uh, almost 100 meals. Not 100. Almost 10 meals. What a waste. Pitiful. Well, here we are. Just in the waiting room for Randy to rain misery upon me. Just making sure that... You know, I, I keep doing as much as I can do. T Rose has her own room now. Fantastic stuff. She'll also get her own wooden dresser. Look at that. Aaron Lane, you can also get a room. Hmm. Aaron Lane, you can go in there. Where does Bamboozle sleep? This poor bastard. He needs to. To get a good room as well. Is I actually make him a bed. That's how much we love bamboozle in this in this place. There you go. Wherever you are, you will also get a bed. You also need some floors. Nice marble tile. There you are. Bamboozle also gets marble tile. Oh, that's all smoothed. All needs to get smoothed. Might as well get that. And uh, marble tile that one up. Nice. So more time going forward. Oh man, it's so fun to watch them the the ants move around, getting things done. We have all these animal beds as well. We I guess we can simply start deconstructing some of these sleeping spots. No need for them. There, that's, that looks pretty good. All right, only Baima remains. As the super sad, super sad, poor bastard. There's no rain, also, so is all of this are these are not being uh, immediately destroyed, not being left out to rot. Huh, Tiros is also kind of grumpy. What is her deal? Needs. Friend George Singer died. And slept in the heat. Oh, because we don't have refrigeration over there. In this area. We definitely need to solve that. Oh, that's why I wanted to leave a double tile wide here. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll... I'll put one of these here. 90. That takes so much. We'll get some vents going. Or maybe... You forget about this room. Hmm. Sucks that there's no real good spot to put this refrigeration. We'll just 
put this. I guess we can simply forget about that door, but that door is actually really helpful to get around places. We'll just put it there. And we'll get some vents. Temperature. Vent. 30 steel each. So much. That's so much. That. And uh, third hand uh, <laughs> cooling. That's not going to be very good. That there. That can go there. That can go there. And that can go there. And this one can go like so. There you are. What a waste. What a massive waste of steel. How much steel do we have? Uh, 1200. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, geez. Damn, another person. Did she not get fed again? It really should uh, warn you when prisoners are not being uh, being fed. Tiros, I would rather you didn't fight hand on hand. How about you get in there, Tom Betts? You like to beat people up, don't you? On the ground, Stam. You poor thing. You poor, poor Stam. He's getting beat up again. Tom Betts has a, a marine armor on, so, you know, I think... Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, no. No, no bullying. Poor Stam. Did she actually get hit? Yeah, you know, a, a casual sniper rifle shot in the, in the arm. Okay, please. Please clean her blood. That's happening right now. She's clean sand. Just capture Stam. Oh, boy. Blargo, what are you even up to? Just tend to Stam, please. And just feed her. This is so dumb. Why is no one doing wardening? That should be, like, number one priority. Rush Baby on a one. Luxor on a one. Somebody needs to do that all the time, please. She's also getting ignored like nobody is. Uh, breaking down her resistance. So silly. Okay, she got fed. Oh, she's an excellent addition to the colony. If she makes it. Hey! Here we are. Separate groups of outlanders for Veronese and Poplar Treaty. Have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Watch out, they appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. We'll avoid your turrets fields of, fields of fire and notice, notice some of your traps. Okay, so we're going to get super pounded by a whole bunch of people. We're going to take position. 28 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a cliffhanger. <laughs> We're going to take position. We're going to have animal safety. Every animal to animal safety. With the exception of the elephants. The elephants are so damn... I lose track of the wildlife. I really need to tame any elephants that come in okay everything's on animal safety so what do, what do we have even three that's seven that's six and the big group over here about 11 10 6 and 11 that's a lot of people but them being separated is actually pretty good wonder if they will come this way I'm sure, like, there's no question in my mind. These scumbags. Oh, man, now you can actually check this. Look at that. The the guns that they're carrying. If you select them all. This is new. I, I'm pretty sure this wasn't here before. They got one in the incendiary launcher. We have some grenades over here. And these scumbags. Just guns and stuff. All right. Um, well, that's done. They're attacking immediately. All the animals into the safety, please. Is Comet going to make it? That's a, that's a question. I want to see where they're going. Make a fat cell. Uh, I would rather the animals. Let's see. Let's just put them all in animal safety. And then when we draft them, they'll uh, move. They're all coming to, to the bunker, though. So 
I guess we'll go out to meet them. Everybody, come over here. Not using the mortars, that's a waste of time, a waste of uh, resources. Oh man, Tom Bess, did you get treated? Yeah. Did you get treated, Stam? Yeah, okay. There's no outstanding wounds. Listening power over there, Tom Betts, get that done. Everybody going to gather up. Listening power to the turrets. At least some of them will fall victim to the turrets for sure. Uh, and then we'll take positions between the fortifications. Once everybody's gathered up. Probably shouldn't have waited so long. We should we should be sniping people already. Alright, Coltona. Get in there. Tedwina. Do we have any of our snipers yet? Baima, just don't go on a mental break, please. Blargo, with his assault rifle, is going to take position right there. Actually, right there. Oh, this was a terrible... Oh, okay, you can walk on top of that, though. Never mind. Uh, Tom Betts can go over here. Rafael Kolkowski, over there. John Chandler can go over there. Crack like that, they. That's everybody else. Tobias Pete. Get some cover, please. That's a good spot. Oh yeah, he comes Luxter, our other sniper. Comet and the the Muffalo are not going to might not make it. Might not make it. Let's get these uh, melee boys right in there. Of course we have bamboo, so he's going to hang it back and he will attack through the doors the moment anybody comes close. There you go, Aaron Lane can go over there. The turrets are all ready to go. Looking pretty awesome. Oh man, here they come. Here they come. Oh, how what will be the result of this raid? Mm, find out in the next episode of Merciless Rimworld. Until then, pray for my soul.